Still on news from Parliament, unless there is a drastic shift, the Minister administration will head back to the International Monetary Fund for additional funding. The haunting words of opposition deputy leader Chester Cooper while leading off his party's contribution to the budget debate in the House of Assembly Monday afternoon. I would note that the World Bank, the IDB and the CDB typically do not offer budget support loans. The IMF, however, does. I've discussed that at length earlier. Yes. Usually starts with no strings attached. <laughs> we still that. insist on the term sheet. We want to see the details, the loan agreement, Mr. Speaker. He did not have that loan and we insist that had you gone early, had you gone hard, you would have found cheaper money. Yes, you, were. you missed the boat. He left by himself. You snoozed, uh, and the Bahamian people lose. lose. Yes. Say that again, man. It didn't oh, have to be this bad. Yes. But you snooze, and, they lose. and the Bahamian people lose. Not letting up in his convictions, Cooper further charged that the Bahamas has a worrisome crisis with investors in the international bond market. This ain't no time to be laughing and heckling. This is serious business. Over the past several weeks, listen to me now. The Bahamas bonds were trading at deep discounts as high as 35%. Said differently? If you wanted to sell them, you would have to do so at a deep no. discount. Really? No. This, in my view, in my view, was triggered by the downgrade by S&P and the negative outlook by Moody's, as well as the tourism and economic shutdown due to the crisis. I can see that. But never in recent history have our bonds been valued so low. If we look at a regional comparison, Jamaica, has a credit rating worse than ours, but the bonds were not as severely impacted. Why? Their discount was flatter, Why? and their bond recovered, their bond recovered faster. I contend it is a question of confidence.